In this tutorial, we'll look at a new feature of Forest Pack 8, the ability to combine spline areas with UV surfaces. Take the example of this castle wall. Now let's imagine that I want to add some ivy to the sides. In previous versions of Forest Pack, that would be tricky because I'd have to align the pivots of both the forest object and the bridge. And even then, I'd only be able to paint on one side. Here's how you could do it in Forest Pack 8. This demo starts from an existing forest object with no surface or areas yet applied, but everything else done. So we'll go to the surface rollout and add the bridge to the surfaces list. You have two modes for surfaces. The default mode, called XY mode, projects objects down on the forest pack object's Z axis. Generally, this is very good for landscapes, and as you can see, it's placed items only on top of the bridge. The second mode is used when you want to scatter on all the surfaces of an object. Instead of projecting from above, it uses the surface's UVs. If you change the mode, you'll see the scatter is now on all sides of the bridge object. And that's great, but in previous versions there was no way to control that scatter because you couldn't then combine surfaces and other areas in the same way as you can in XY mode. In Forest Pack 8, that's all changed and you can use paint areas, splines and even objects to include and exclude items. To demonstrate, I'll turn off surfaces and add a new paint area. The most important thing to note is that the area will still be projecting along a single axis, but now you have the option to select that axis from X, Y or Z. With paint areas, you should pick it before you start painting using this new projection axis option. I'll pick Y and then start painting on the inside of this end tower. If I want to paint on the front, I can create a new paint area and then set the projection axis to X instead. Now I have one paint area for painting on the X axis and another one for painting on the Y axis. As you can see, because it projects on a single axis, you might end up with items on all the faces of the model that fall within the area, whether they're facing away or towards the paint area from one side of the mesh to the other. If you want to refine this, then you can add additional areas to remove items as required. To illustrate, I'll use a regular spline to remove items from everywhere except those two sides of the tower. So I'll pick a spline and set it to exclude, and then change the projection axis to X. And the objects are removed. Now let's do the same thing to remove them from the back of the tower. Add this other spline area, and then set the mode to exclude. Pick the spline and this time set the projection axis to Y. We've now isolated the scatter just to the end of the tower where it was needed. That's just a quick demo of how you can use this new projection axis option. We hope you can see that it opens up Forest Pack's UV mode many more handy uses. We've got more Forest Pack 8 content coming soon, so feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.